<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, William, so no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with me. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. <laughs> Look out, bandits! Virus, sitting ducks here. I want that money, parents. Where? Guess I got up to more mischief than I remember. All right, I'll beat this plot in Cinderbox once we use these tons of bitches. Quick, grab that shooter at the back of the round. the back of the round. Grab it if you're running low. Oh, my good lord. I'm warning you. Smack the head down. It's 
ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget. in your pants. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. Now, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. That okay. <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of his stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Ratto means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Damn more the sons of bitches! By that rock! You got the wrong man! Step foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, they will insist on fighting for the notorious Irish outlaw. Come on, man!
much for your damn connections, Irish. I told you they knew me in Mexico, didn't I? Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another food. We made it, thank the Lord. The more glad to be getting out of that floating death pack. These horses look fresher <laughs> Whoop! and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. I, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one.
You little beauty.
What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax, <laughs> amigo, relax. <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come meet, drink, and then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholden to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist. But you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there. Hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Are you going to ride with me? Vamos, caballo vago. We must be quick. It's a long ride to Chuparosa. such a warm welcome from the Mexican army, I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering um, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? 
You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man, or to be him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these outlaws you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid and like cows they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought harder. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor. A liar. A coward and a sinner. A hero who has done nothing. I have full more respect for the shit I look this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. After! Come on! The train is waiting! 
What are you waiting for? On your horse! Come on, this way!
Todo bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. ¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, perezoso, que yo me que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. ¡Todavía levántese! Ay, ¡Usted joder. también! Ah, y allá atrás, muévase! ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. ¡Ay, Dios mío, levántese! ¡Ya mismo! Sounds like fun.
You come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers, doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay, I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. Did you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, sir. Yes, they did! Let's go. 
What can I say, partner? Con el otro. No te rompas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¡Ay, ese güey! Y de aquí para acá. ¡Eh, gringo! ¿Hablas de español? No, sir. Pardon, pero. Yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. If you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? Can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? 
Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Cabron! Pues toma! Come on, these people need me. Whoa there, go! Let's 
Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Come on! Come on, these people need me. How long have you been living here? Ah, a few years now, I guess. It's been a while since I looked at the calendar. Why Mexico? Why not? I've been kicking up the same dust on the same trails too long. I needed a change. Good places any other to call home. Sunshine, cheap liquor, beautiful women. A vicious civil war? Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger... Come on, these people need me. Come on! Talked enough, partner. Take some time to think about what you learned. This is real now. Get up! Come on! There they are. Follow me. Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not going to stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't. My sour cast is good with us. Sano y salvo. 
Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Slow it down, will you? Watch your step, partner. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Señor Escuela, is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grindy Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Hablan de mucho mal y conjuraciones en primero quebrada. Buenas. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk.
It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. There should be some horses for us across the way. Hello there! All right, let's head to El Manadero and see what they know about Luisa. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Here 
we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Easy now. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. Tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. Come on, let's get into those caves.
Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Here. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on. Go before any more of them show up. Something doesn't feel right here. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah.
familia. Soy inocente. No hice nada. Sorry, ma'am. I'm a married man. Watch yourself, man. They have automobiles. La capital ya tienen automóviles. Bravo. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Me gusta la... I no tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cards. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, the... Namakshon!
What convenient timing for a friend to join, Mr. Ricketts. I'll be watching you. I fault. Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. Lady Luck is sure kicking my ass today. Let's up the stakes a little. I'll check. Would you look at that? I'm gonna check that one. Look at that. A little beginner's luck. I never thought I'd be playing cards with Landon Ricketts. Nothing like a game of poker to warm the soul. Now I'll fold. Fold! Sweet mother of pearl. That's enough for me. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's not, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. What are you waiting for, coward? Steady now, partner. Stay calm. I'll show you what happens to filthy cheats!
Muller always did play his cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man like Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Careful, Marston. I know that girl. Oh, Dios mío. No merezco esto. No, por favor. Oh, madre mía. Good God. We really aren't making any friends today. Find some cover. You tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with Dagos, up to here. The savages. Mm, well, I do what I can to help. But this land was imagined by an angry God for an angry people. <laughs> Well, America ain't exactly a peaceful paradise, mister. Well, I, mean, I tried, but, but at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot. My God, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. Why didn't you? Uh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? Now, there's, there's some fighting broken out there. Uh, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Names Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. They'll know of me in Nosalida. How much? Plenty, sir. Plenty. Uh, now you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell. What? <laughs> oh, that's a fine fellow.
Sorry, my dear. Hey, amigo, you want to make some money? Ven conmigo. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. People like Post Colina. But Come on, drink only. easy now. Do that then. Apartate ahora mismo, cabrón. Bienvenido. How are you today? Hey, mister. Buenos dias, senor. I see you know your guns. Cuando Coronel Allende me visita, fumamos Don Felibert. Perhaps we can do some negocios. Conforme. ¿Cómo está? As you like. My weapons are the mejores en escalera. That's what I want. Buena suerte. Good luck today. The cavachos. Why are you asking me? The king knows. Careful. Te vas a desculpar, hijo de puta. 